final hole is this dowel pin. This dowel pin hole is a reamed hole, or it's going to be a reamed hole. It has a fit tolerance of J8. A couple things you got to pay attention to here. This is only three decimals, plus zero, minus zero. Obviously, my tolerances are not, uh, you know, tight enough to be able to even visualize what the value is. All right, so we're 2362 J8 plus 3 minus 4 tenths. The plus 3 minus 4 tenths is the evaluation of a J8 fit for this size of hole. So fit tolerances, and in the manual there's kind of a, some guides and some information about fit tolerances in general, but a fit specifically refers to a shaft or a hole that's going to fit up with another shaft or hole, and it determines using pre preset values how much interference or clearance there's going to be as it pertains to the tolerance because with a shaft that's a very tight fit right something like that there isn't a ton of flexibility there you're either uh, interfering or you're loose or you're having some friction uh, in just the course of a few thousandths of an inch or even ten thousandths of an inch and so by using these fit standards, you can kind of call out what you want and they typically give you a very repeatable result. So if you look at the graph, A is something that's very loose and Z is something that's extremely tight, right? Uh, you're barely able to stick the thing in because it's, it's deforming both parts significantly. And so everything in the middle kind of gives you different levels of clearance, of, of intermediate fit or of press or interference fit. J is a slight interference or clearance. And that's what we want here. We want it to be either, you know, extremely tight, uh, you know, without full interference, or we want some interference. We'd kind of cheat that direction. So in this case, J is a capital J. That means that's a whole. It was a lowercase j that could be used on a shaft, and if you were doing both of them in the same print, you could actually do the upper and lower in one annotation. J8, the 8 in that case, is the international tolerance grade. Interna international tolerance grade is kind of gives you an understanding of what kind of processes are appropriate to create that hole. If you look at the chart, a is something that's going to require a reaming operation, a very specific tool or a very specific process to achieve that really tight final tolerance. If it was going to be drilled, just straight up drilled or milled, that would be closer to a 10. Um, and that would be what most of the other holes are. And then if it was going to be, let's say, ground with a, a grinding tool, you might be able to get it down to a 6. So that number right there is doing a lot of work to indicate how tight this tolerance is. Now there's a couple things you want to pay attention to on a fit. You can actually tell it you want it to be a fit only. That's a J8 fit, which means what it was earlier, the plus three minus four. But your, your chop and your inspection and everybody has to understand what that means in order for it to be, you know, helpful. The last thing you want to do is send something out to the shop and they either don't know what it is so it creates confusion or it creates you know complications or you know you send it out and they then have to come back and ask you what it means or they just ignore it because they don't know about it right these are typically with tolerances the human impact is one of the biggest impacts that you have to pay attention to so think about what you have going on and if something like a fit call out is important to you and it needs to be implemented in your company, you'll probably need to, very much like buying a new machine or a new tool, you're going to need to invest in some training to make sure they understand it. Now, if you specify J8 and you know they aren't going to understand that or you don't want to count on that, you can just say J8, but tell me what the tolerance is. Evaluate it for me. And SolidWorks pulls that from the, the tables, uh, from the database, and it just evaluates it to a plus minus linear tolerancing. What I had earlier was fit with tolerance. You can kind of quibble about whether that's double specifying the value or not, but for me that's very illustrative and that's how I like to do work with my shop.